What's going on guys, it's Wayne here. So Cat's got a few new small dozers, but before we get into the details surrounding those three new machines, and while what I'm about to tell you I've actually covered a bit more extensively in a previous video, I think it's still worth repeating here at the top because it's a really important point of context for what has been an almost complete rethinking of the Cat Dozer lineup, and these three new machines sit at the very bottom and they have had a big impact on the rethinking of the lineup. All right, so way back in 2017, which honestly feels like 30 years ago at this point, CAT began a pretty significant overhaul of the system that it uses to name machines. Specifically, the company started dropping letter modifiers from names. For instance, the latest CAT 330 excavator is now just a 330. It replaced the 330F. The new 420 backhoe replaced the 420F2. So you can kind of see how those letters have been disappearing as new models are introduced. Interestingly enough, this new naming convention didn't actually take hold in the Cat Dozer lineup until the company started introducing its next generation dozers. The new D6 was the first dozer to receive this treatment in replacing what was the D6T. And then the D5 was launched, replacing the D6N. And at Con Expo earlier this year, the D7 was launched, replacing the D7E and D7R. And the whole point of me repeating this again is that these changes aren't just name changes. They're really a restructuring of the Cat Dozer lineup. Lineup. But nothing really better illustrates that than what has happened at the smaller end of this lineup. Now take the new CAT D4 that we discussed in another recent video. That machine as recently as a couple months ago was the D6 K2. For all intents and purposes, it still is the D6 K2. Same engine, same cab, same specs, same everything, except for the name. And a big reason that Cat changed the name of that machine to the D4 are the dozers we're going to talk about today. The all new Cat D1, D2, and D3 dozers. All right, so let's talk about those machines. Let's get into it. Now, I promise we're going to get into the actual hardware changes and the design changes and the actual improvements on these three new dozers, but first, Humor me, I do want to continue this discussion on the new model names for just a little bit because again, they are very significant in terms of how you should think of the lineup going forward. And that's because Cat hopes that all of these new dozer model names are going to allow you to quickly recall in your mind based on the name how powerful each new dozer is and be able to place where it fits in the lineup in terms of both power and capability. Okay, so under the new nomenclature, the new D1 replaces the old D3K2, the D2 replaces the D4K2, and the D3 replaces the D5K2. Really quick and aside here, a little bit of trivia for you. This D1 is actually an all new model name for a cat dozer. There's never been a D1. So if you end up buying one of these, you'll be buying a little bit of history. The D2, however, is actually kind of a throwback. Cat actually offered a D2 dozer between 1938 and 1957. All right, so quickly, going back to that new D4 that we mentioned earlier, since the new naming system for dozers only allows for one model per size class, that means that the D4, which used to be the D6K2, would have fallen in this new lineup between the new D3 and the new D5 in terms of size and capability. So for obvious reasons, CAT decided to change the name of the D6K2 to the D4 as CAT product application specialist for small dozers, Joel Fritz explains to us right here. One thing we really do at Caterpillar, we listen to our customers and our customers were telling us we needed to try to simplify our nomenclature somehow. So we came up with this solution. We thought it was the best. It preserved our brand uh, equity. There's a lot of heritage in the D nomenclature. That was our number one objective. Uh, so that's how we wound up with this very simple model nomenclature, which basically meant from a D6 down, we moved the numbers down a little bit, a little bit concerned there. But in the long run, after we get through this adjustment period, I think it's going to be a lot simpler for everyone to understand what size cat dozer they need to do their work. And while we didn't have anything new to talk about with the D4 since it was just a name change, there is plenty of new stuff to talk about with the D1, D2, and D3. 
In other words, let's stop talking about model names and actually move on to the machines themselves. And the next big change that CAD is introducing with these three new small dozers is a new look. In addition to being adorned with the new CAT logo and new model badges, which are now complemented with that red hexagon design that CAT has been introducing over the last few years, these dozers also feature styling changes as well from their predecessors. Specifically, the machine features a redesigned hood that slopes lower toward the ground. And Kat says this change actually provides about 30% more visibility, both over the hood to the blade and to the operator's peripheral views. Plus, Kat says that the lower hood design was made possible by a new engine for this part of the dozer range. The D1, D2, and D3 are all powered by Kat's new C3.6 engine, which provides quite a bit of space savings found through its more more compact packaging, and thanks to a bit of rearranging CAT engineers did with the engine components themselves. That CAT 3.6 engine is also notable because CAT is using it across a wide range of its smaller equipment, including most of its building construction products lineup of compact machines, including backhoes, skid steers, CTLs, dozers, obviously, and more. And that provides quite a bit of commonality for servicing. So the nice thing about having, you know, common uh, engines is it's more economical for the customer to maintain service and whatnot uh, and manage. Now, beyond commonality and serviceability, as Joel explains here, emissions and fuel economy are two other major factors in this switch to the C3.6 engine for the D1, D2, and D3. We, we went with uh, the new C3.6 primarily to meet our emission requirement for Europe. Uh, with uh, stage five. So that was one of the primary reasons we did that and it still met all the requirements for tier four in other areas of the world. With all these dozers that we're talking about today, we have got uh, just probably the best fuel economy out there in the marketplace on our dozers. And that's attributed to the work that's been done with the engine designs and the fuel control systems that we have on the machines along with the emission solutions. So <clears throat> with that coupled with features like we have standard on machines eco mode, uh, that really allows the customer to get a lot better fuel economy. And the neat thing about, for example, our um, uh, eco mode that we have on our dozers uh, we don't just decrease the engine RPM to improve fuel economy. Uh, a lot of uh, manufacturers do that to get improved fuel economy. And when you do that, it sacrifices your performance. But on cat dozers, uh, we don't sacrifice any performance at all when you're running in eco mode. All you do is basically uh, decrease the engine RPM and the transmission, because it is a smart transmission, so to speak, it actually can speed up the track pump and motors to get you the speed that the customer desires to stay constant. And that's what you wanna focus on when you're doing a grading work, especially finished grading. Another nice piece of engineering that CAT has done here is that even though the CAT C3.6 engine is smaller than the C4.4 engine that was found in the preceding models in this lineup, the new D1, D2, and D3 all retain the exact same horsepower ratings of those machines that they're replacing. The D1 remains at 80 horsepower, the D2 remains at 92 horsepower, and the D3, which by the way, Fritz says is likely to be the most popular model of these three new machines, if the former D5 K2 it replaces is any indication, that D3 is still at 104 horsepower. However, thanks to this new engine, the new dozers can also deliver fuel savings up to 10%. I know sometimes uh, there is some concern with the size of an engine changing displacement. And I, I'd just like to address that a little bit. It's, it's very similar to the automobile industry or a truck industry. Uh, today, with the control systems that we have on both engines and transmissions, the two can communicate together so much better than what we had in the uh, former days where you had a manual transmission and you had to depend on engine torque, let's say, for an example, to change uh, with the transient loads the machine or the vehicle may see. 
But today with the control systems we have, that becomes less critical. So we're able to use a little bit smaller displacement engines, uh, get the horsepower we need from it very economically, primarily with some great machining and uh, new designs that allow that machine to operate for a lot longer period of time than what some of these former engines used to. And so it's a, just a better overall combination when we go to these newer high-tech uh, engine and transmission solutions. These new models have the same weight and dimensions as their predecessors, so the exact same footprint. And they retain many of the standard features that those older models had, including an eco mode, auto traction control, stable blade, and slope indicate. The new D1, Wayne, replaced the D3K. Um, we listened to the customers and the customers said it had plenty of uh, power and the weight was right, the footprint was right. So we kept all that the same. So basically all the great feature value that you had on the former D3K, you got on the D1. Even though the number may be smaller, um, that has nothing to do with the value or the power that the machine has to do its work. And for those of you wondering whether CAT is going to continue to offer the mulching attachments offered on the outgoing D3K models on the new D1 that replaces them, they will and they'll be available later this year. And we'll actually have more information on this specialized D1 dozer because there's actually a few more details uh, that make that dozer very specialized for mulching. And we'll have more details on that in a later video. All right, now in terms of operating weight ranges, the D1 ranges between 18,240 and 18,390 pounds. The D2 ranges between 18,340 and 19,019 pounds. And finally, the D3 ranges between 20,321 and 21,150 pounds. Now, another part of the naming change that we discussed earlier is the dropping of the XL designation that existed on the older models. However, two undercarriage options will still be available in standard and LGP or low ground pressure. Continuing on with undercarriage, the D1 and D2 have 89 inches of track on the ground, while the D3 puts 91 inches of track on the ground. A 30 inch LGP track will be offered on the D1 and D3, and you'll also be able to choose between sealed and lubricated track and CAT abrasion undercarriage systems. Now, even though CAT has made it a priority to pack its latest machines with the latest and greatest technology over the last several years. And th these new D1, D2, and D3 dozers are no different. They will come packed with time-saving technology features. CAD admits that it has not always been easy or obvious to enable these features, and the company is trying to change that with an optional new 10-inch touchscreen display that you can equip the D1, D2, and D3 with. And so we are building on grade control and making it easier and I focus on easier. That was one of our big objectives is try to make it easier for the customers to use the great technology that we have available in these machines. You know, you can put all this technology on a machine, but if the operator cannot take advantage of it and actually use it, it really serves no value to the customer in getting their work done. So uh, in doing that, we came up with some easier user interface, a uh, new display, for example, that's consistent across all of our tractor lines models. Uh, makes it easier to use these new features like we have for grade control, like slope assist, uh, grade with 2D, grade with 3D. Uh, just makes it easier for that operator to understand and use. Apart from that 10 inch touch display, some more optional equipment includes cat grade slope assist, cat grade 3D, a ventilated operator seat, heated controls, and power pitch, a feature that allows you to control blade pitch from the cab. Grade control technology is probably one of the really hot subjects out there in the construction industry today with machines. And that is something I think we've got a clear advantage over uh, the competition, other choices out there in the uh, dozer marketplace. And what I'm talking about, you can take one of our basic machines. Let's say if you ordered a machine uh, with uh, our ARO or attachment ready option, and that includes a slope assist, which allows an operator basically 
to do onboard reference system type grade work to, you know, get water to run from point A to point B, just basic grading. But you can take that same machine and as you see you need to add more technology, let's say go to the offboard reference system like a 2D laser system, you can take that same machine and just basically plug and play the components into it and you're off and running and then build right on up to 3D GPS or 3D total station. So I think that's a huge advantage for a customer looking at one of um, looking at a small dozer that we can offer them is the ability to scale up their grade control technology with the machine they start with. Now on the maintenance side of these new machines, all three of these dozers feature a large hinge door that gives you easy engine service access to all of your regular maintenance points. Now, one difference with these machines is that the door has been moved to the right hand side of the machines. Continuing on the maintenance side of things, an optional turbine type pre-cleaner is available, which works to increase your engine air filter life when you're working in conditions with excess debris. Now, another available option is an automatic reversing fan for blowing out debris buildup in the radiator and the engine enclosure. And if you want to access the radiator without tools for periodic cleaning, the new hinged radiator grill is another available option. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for us here on the all new D1, D2, and D3 small dozers from Caterpillar. But as always, we want to hear what you guys are thinking. Let us know what you think of this revamped cat dozer lineup. What do you think of these new small dozers and their replacement? of the D3, D4, and D5 kind of K2 dozers. Let us know what you think about the improvements over those dozers, this new C3.6 engine. Give us all your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video and found the information in it useful in any kind of way in your next machine purchase or your next machine rental, please do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, trucks, and more, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell, turn on notifications so that you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate your time and we will see you next time.